Hey guys, I got some more uh, good video material here for you. Behind me is a 1999 Ford F-250 XLT Super Duty. It's got the Triton 5.4 liter V8. And as you can see, this truck has uh, had a rough life here. It's actually the farm truck for our neighbors and they do a lot of the lane maintenance so uh, you know our credit I'll just work off here uh, fixing their farm vehicles now this thing is definitely not here for inspection it wouldn't pass or it would take a lot of resources to make this thing uh, road legal but they just want it to be usable around the farm so we'll go over the, the customer complaints, <laughs> see, see what we can do to help them out. Now I uh, got this wheel chuck here, that is a clue to one of the complaints. Actually I stepped on the e-brake just now and uh, oh, look what we got here. Oh man, it's a nice looking uh, e-brake cable. Yeah. So let's uh, let's look at the laundry list. Wrote it down here so I wouldn't forget. First complaint is something to do with the shifter linkage. It's not holding in park all the time. It's not starting in park, and it only starts in neutral. And it's kind of hard to find the uh, the indicator doesn't line up with the real gear that you're in. Tail lights are not working. Because they uh, sometimes do take it out on the road, just you know, close uh, between in between farms here. But during the night, that's not not a good thing. It's got a misfire, of course. You know, Ford ignition coils. It's got the coil unplug system there. So look into that. And the right door, it's not latching, or I guess uh, it says this handle is kind of not connected to anything. So we'll do a couple short videos on all these problems. I don't know where we want to start here. How about how about we start with the misfire? At least get the engine running right and uh, move on to the shift linkage, and then we'll do the accessories. So first we'll attack the misfire. Let's just start it up. Take a listen. See if the check engine light's even present. Service engine soon, okay. It's shaking. Kind of a rough idle. Let's see if we can. Check engine light is not on, surprisingly, but it is a Ford. So let's uh, see what we can. We can pull any codes or at least use mode 6 to see if there are any misfires. Oh yeah, it's chugging. Not the smoothest idle I've heard. All right, we got our auto ID. Yep. Let's see if it runs better with the foot on the gas. It's actually not bad. A little higher RPM. It's it's missing though. See with a V8, sometimes it's hard to tell if one cylinder is cutting out. It's still pretty smooth.
I don't care about the VIN. Do an auto scan. That's a nice feature of the Autel. It scans all the systems. this finishes I'll turn it back on one thing I've noticed about the Autel it's kind of slow on Fords but I still can't believe that this real rough idle condition doesn't set some kind of code all right what do we got here we don't care about traction control Let's see, powertrain control module, one fault, okay. Read the codes. Continuous memory codes first. It's not very helpful. Okay. Um, let's go to key on engine off test. That's not going to be helpful for a running, running condition. So let's get out of here. Go to OBD2. Do our favorite mode six. See if uh, we're picking up any misfires. Just as a shortcut, you know. See what cylinders to focus on. So apparently this thing doesn't even. I don't know if the battery is disconnected or what, but three monitors are incomplete. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, the whole truck's going sideways. So obviously something's not firing. Please wait. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, read codes if there are any. No codes stored. No codes pending. Uh, let's see what we have in live data. It isn't closed loop. Let's look at our fuel trims. Long term fuel trim is positive on bank two. Let's rev it up a little bit. Looks like the fuel trims look pretty decent, <laughs> surprisingly, on uh, when we get it off of idle here. Anything else? Our oxygen sensors are switching just fine. So, again, fuel trims at idle. Bink 2 is, well, they're both a little positive. Bink 2 is a little worse. I'd expect the something worse for uh, what we're hearing so let's see if we can get to mode 6 and that would be under onboard monitor test let's see Ford alright 
we're looking at. There are the misfires. We have no misfires on anything. All right, I think it's time to get out the scope, huh? All right, got the Varus fired up here. First, let's do just a little bit of homework. BBB Industries, favorite wiring diagram site. Let's see how fast we can find the, uh, wire, the ignition system wiring for this Ford truck. So 99 Ford, we're under wiring diagrams. It's the F250 Super Duty. It's got the 5.4. The weak sauce, right? <laughs> um, let's go to engine. Ignition. Tell me that's not faster than all data or Mitchell. So let's what let's see uh, where the ignition coils get their power from. This is what I'm looking for. Junction box, fuse relay panel. It's a let's see, zoom in a little bit. 30 amp fuse. There's splice. Goes to all the coils. So the game plan is to connect a fuse buddy to this fuse right here and then just do a current ramp measurement on all the coils and maybe synchronize it with one of them. And uh, that's the quickest way, my favorite, to on these four trucks to check how the ignition coils are firing. And actually Scanner Danner um, has this method on his uh, videos. That's how I learned. So, got to give credit where credit is due. So let's find this fuse and uh, do a current ramp test. And thanks to Ford for not labeling their fuse box at all, even the fuse numbers. We have to uh, go back to our BBB Industries and look at the layout of the fuse panel. So, here are the fuses and let's look at our listing so the one we're looking for is this radio noise capacitor coil unplug PCM power diode fuse so it's 30 30 amp position 30 okay now position 30 is right here and our fuse box is right in the corner it should be a 30 amp fuse let's go look for it <clears throat> I got the old plastic cover off here, and well, here it is. 30 amp fuse, unlabeled, but we're gonna pull that. We're gonna pop in our mini fuse buddy. So it looks like looks like this with a loop, and it's a uh, there's a fuse protecting that too. Plug her in. We'll put our current clamp on the uh, 20 amp scale. Put it on here. Plug that into our Varus and fire it up. All right, on the Varus, 20 amp scale. Got our amp pro probe plugged in and attached to uh, fuse buddy. Let's fire it up. So what we want to do here, we do want to do peak detect. Let's increase the time base. All right, there are the current ramps. Now we can flip the amp clamp over, so we're reading positive. There we go. So let's just set a quick trigger. Increase one. Okay. 
that's one of the uh, patterns so what we want is good detail but also at least eight on the screen so let's do 25 20 milliseconds there's a nice detailed pattern we'll stop it and now what we can do is zoom out and we have more than enough data to uh, analyze so let's zoom in a bit and right now I don't know which cylinder is which I just want to see if there's a bad one in here somewhere like uh, look at this guy it's only got two ramps it's interesting so we're looking for coils that have a good it's called the turn on oscillation and three firing ramps. So on four is at idle, this is what, what they do. It's a triple spark, consecutive spark system. So let's just move along and so let's see here. So each frame is going to be a different cylinder, so we can go through eight frames. Uh, zoom out a little bit, see a few repetitions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's just pick one to start with. Zoom in on this one. So that one looks okay. Zoom out. Do the next one. Zoom in. Again, see so turn on oscillations, three, three firing events, that's good. Number three. So here, it's a little different. We do have our turn on oscillations, but these guys are falling to zero kV and then starting again. So basically what we're looking for is is there a cylinder that's different that looks different from the rest there's one two three four there's five that looks fine six not bad one two three four five six seven yeah see this one's a uh, Turn on oscillations are not not here, and then this one's starting from zero again, so I don't like that one. Let's see, we have another one right, right over here. Let's zoom in on that, and that one looks okay. 